Buckle up, because here's the most important history lesson you'll ever hear straight from the pages of the inerrant, infallible word of the creator of the universe. The Bible teaches God created everything in six days. What he created was very good. It was perfect. God created man in his image and called him Adam. Then he created woman from the man, and the man named her Eve. God made them rulers over all creation. He gave them free will. He gave them everything they ever needed, and they only had one restriction. They were commanded not to eat from a particular tree. God warned them that if they ate from that tree, that death would enter the world. Now Eve was deceived by Satan, and she ate from the tree. She gave the fruit to Adam, and he ate it too. Thus mankind had rebelled against God, and sin and death entered the world, just like God warned. Now a holy and just God had to punish sin. So he did. The earth, the animals, mankind, the entire universe was cursed. And we all now live in an imperfect world. From that point forward, all of Adam's descendants are sinful from conception and have willingly entered the rebellion against God. All of us have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God. And the consequence of our sin is death. Therefore, all of us are subject to everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. That's fantastic, isn't it? No, it's not. That's the worst news ever. But here's the good news. Here's the gospel. God loves you so much that he gave his one and only son to you. And if you believe in him, you will have eternal life. God's son is Jesus. Jesus is fully God and fully man. He was born of a virgin conceived by the very spirit of God. He lived a perfect, sinless life. And so he is the only one qualified to pay the debt for our sins. His shed blood was the only way out of this mess. Obedient to God the Father, Jesus was wounded for our sake. He took our sins unto himself. His sacrificial death on the cross and the blood he shed for mankind paid the penalty for our sin in full. And because of that, he who believes on him is not condemned. Amazing grace. But you know what? That's not all of it. Jesus Christ, the creator of all things, after he was in the tomb for three days, rose from the grave. He conquered death, defeating it for our sake. So all who truly believe in him, repent of their sin, and put their trust in him, can and will return to God and live for eternity with him in the unimaginable place we call heaven. That's it. So, please consider it. Think about it. Talk to us. Drop us an email. Text us. Whatever it takes. You know, it might seem strange, and you might think you're on this journey all alone, but you're not. We're here for you and we'll walk you through it.